So guys, um, already this morning I walked in, TFD students said, hey man, I'm kind of embarrassed, but uh, I got a chance to innovate at main campus, which never happens, all right? And you guys know my nickname. What is it? Mac 4. It's like the doc gave me the Mac 3, guy was in a C collar, had a long neck. He's like, I already knew, like, oh, I just, I wish I had a 4, but I didn't want to tell the doctor, hey, thanks for letting me innovate, but give me a Mac 4. You know how that would have went. See ya. So I went in, could barely see the, did, never saw the cords. Saw the epiglottis, ran out of blade. So the physician went, took the blade from him and actually got it, but he even struggled with it for a little bit. So the reason why I'm hammering you guys with the Mac 4 is because I've never in 26 years have ever seen anybody run out of blade with a Mac 4, including myself, but I have with the 3 multiple times. So I want you to practice with the Mac 4. I want you to practice. We have threes on the table. We have Millers. You need to be proficient in that Mac 4 blade, in my opinion. All the data shows that pre-hospital and in the emergency room, okay? You don't have enough innovations in your life to be an expert at every single size and type of blade because we're not anesthesiologists in the OR. You're paramedics, and you'll innovate a couple times a year. Most of them will be dead people, but when you have to innovate somebody alive, you're really gonna want that four. If I don't need that long a blade, I don't need it. But you can't, you can't ram it a three down and try to make a three a four. It doesn't work that way. So there is a method to my madness about teaching difficult airway. Okay, practice with all the different blades. These are some dabbers. They're pretty real, as real, almost as real as you're gonna get without being in an OR or a real patient. With the Glidescope Ranger. You have to use a rigid stylet with the Gladscope Ranger, and you'll use the Gladscope Ranger at St. Mary's and at St. Joe's. They use that at Carondelet. So when we get to that station, we'll show you how that works as well, um, because there are techniques with the, with the rigid stylet. I actually carry a rigid stylet in my truck. Every person that I innovate with, I use a rigid stylet every single time for adult patients. Um, and we'll show you the, the technique with that, so you don't have to bend the, the tube. Those stylets don't bend, okay? We will have open sharps. Please be careful. We're going to be going at a fast pace, but slow, smooth, and smooth is fast. I don't want anybody poked with the, with the needle crike. Don't separate the actual needle from the actual catheter all the way, or some of them will lock out, and I'll just, have to, I'll just I'll break it at that point. Does that make sense? Groups of two, pair up. Everybody should have a station. Both Sue and Tara will be walking around as well and giving you guidance. Okay, and Tara is going to be our, our timekeeper. We're right on time. All right, we're going to go to 1230. So groups of two, please go to, go to a station.